Hello everybody, my name is Ting Yi and this is our team video presentation for the RoboCup Asia Pacific 2022. Allow me to introduce you to my team. We are from the team Robo Erectus SP consisting of Dylan, myself, Ye Ye and Kaylan from left to right as you can see from the picture. All of us has little experience in robotics and this is our first time participating in the Co-Spayers Rescue Competition. For our category, it will be the university level. Our challenge task is to collect gems and deposit them in a designated area while avoiding obstacles and traps. Here are the strategies that we use to try to get the highest score possible. First of all, we use a star pathfinding algorithm. It is used in conjunction with bitmaps to help robot navigate around obstacles, traps, and swampland. It is also used to quickly get to deposit zones and super objects. Next, we also use object clustering and prioritization. We note down object clusters by color. Robot will search in corresponding area if it needs that particular color. The robot will only collect two of each color before depositing to ensure super plus object will always spawn. Here are the results that we can see after implementing those strategies that I mentioned earlier on on the previous slide. Firstly, the robot gets stuck less and moves around obstacles smoothly. Next, the robot wastes, wastes less time searching for objects. Next, it is also able to spawn a super plus object after every deposit. Also, the robot is able to reliably find deposit zones and super objects. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is the A-Star algorithm? How does it work and how to create effective bit mapping? Do not worry as I will be explaining more about a style algorithm and bit mapping in the subsequent slides. To explain more about a style algorithm, a style algorithm is a pathfinding algorithm that finds the shortest path between two points. It uses weighted nodes to figure out how to navigate. Hence, by using a style algorithm, it can create the most optimal and shortest path from the known start position to a known end position. Moving on, I'll be talking about how a star algorithm works. a star algorithm uses a mathematical function involving heuristics to calculate the cost to move from start node to end node. As you can see, here is the formula of the a star algorithm. Fn equals gn plus hn. Fn is the total cost to move from start node to end node. Gn is cost to move to a given node from the start node. While hn is the cost to move from a given node to the end node. When a star algorithm is used together with a bitmap, each colored box has a cost assigned to it. The path with the least total cost, Fn, is then chosen. The below diagram illustrates this. Moving forward, I'll be talking more about bitmapping. Bitmapping allows the robot to avoid obstacles by using A star by introducing obstacles as a heavily weighted knot. A good bitmap ensures that the robot will not hit any obstacles. You are also able to decide where the robot can and cannot go. As you can see, here is a picture of a good map bit mapping of a cool space map. We also need to do bit mapping properly with enough boundaries around obstacles to ensure that the robot does not bump into the obstacles. The boundaries need to be big enough that the ultrasonic sensors of the robot does not detect the objects to ensure the robot can navigate smoothly. Here is a game showcase of our virtual robot with a star algorithm being implemented. Here you can see that the robot is moving to the CN zone to pick up two CN objects. After picking up two CN objects, it will go to the red and black zone to pick up two of each color in order to get a super plus gem. You can also see the robot avoiding obstacles as we have made an effective bitmap. The robot is using an ASI algorithm to find the shortest path to the destination.
Next, I'll be talking about how we can apply the knowledge that we have gained to the real world. We can use drones with thermal imaging to find lost or hurt humans in the forest. The drone will search in the area where the people are last seen and expand its search radius using the point as its center. Since the drone knows the number of people that have gone missing, the drone will not stop finding until everyone is found and their location is known. Once the people are found, the drone will send a beam map to the unmanned ground vehicle to send a first aid kit. The which is the unmanned ground vehicle, will use the A-star algorithm to find the shortest path towards the human. The UGV will be equipped with turbo and ultrasonic sensors to avoid collisions with trees and other animals and also to detect the lost people. This tool is useful as the robots can search for humans 24-7 and return to their stations to charge. That is all from our group. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.